is one other caller on the call. Hi, Sam. Hello, Kishore. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Okay. So we're ready. Yeah. What shall we do today? Yeah, we'll do the same what we discussed last time. Okay. That uh, heuristic. discussing about the uh, heuristic calculation okay. this is the selection ID we have chosen so if you look at the forecast the shift party location So this is the forecast we got from the uh, demand planning. So based on that forecast, when we ran a heuristic, it was generated a distribution receipts plan. Why it is generated a distribution receipts plan means the procurement type it has maintained as a F C two three twenty. So here the procurement type we have maintained F. Yes. So because of that, it has generated a distribution receipts plant. If you double click on any order, it will show as a purchase requisition. <clears throat> it is requesting for a purchase this source location, 1000. So the same here it is as a receipts because this ship to party is going to receive this stock at least for the plant. Okay, and the same order in the source location will show as a demand. The same orders it will show as a demand see here it will show as a distribution demand plan means the demand which is coming from the ship to party location so based on the demand when we ran a heuristic at this location thousand location it has generated a production plan orders that is SNP plan orders if you double click on this one you can see SNP planned order. The category is EE. Okay, like that. So the same source plan will get the requirement from different ship to party or distribution locations. 
so clubbing all the demand it will generate a heuristic when we generate a heuristic it will gen it will generate a planned orders for all the demand which is coming either from ship uh, ship to parties or a warehouse locations are you getting uh, sam yes uh, basically uh, uh, each key viewers represents what is that uh, receipt elements or uh, demands came from and we can associate by the category for instance ee not this one yes okay okay yeah and here if you observe in the this snp plan data it is picking the source of supply that is pds it is picking yes means snp pds okay if you run a pps heuristic then it will pick a pps pds for any instance if you see this source of supply is blank and then you can understand there is no pds for this product look Okay. Yeah. Now, now we'll see some some settings in the material master. For the thousand plant. So procurement type will generally maintain E. Yeah, the settings I'm discussing about this SMP2 here. Yeah, lot size first. Currently the lot size is lot for lot. Okay. Lot for lot means whatever the de demand here for that it will generate orders. The same quantity, 400 demand, 400 orders. Okay. Like that, it will generate. But if you have a fixed lot size, then every time when it's trying to generate, it will generate that much of quantity. Like example here, if I maintain 2000 as the fixed lot size, save it. I'll go back. Now we'll run a heuristic at thousand plant location. I'm running heuristic at same same product and again at location thousand. See, I'll refresh. Now it is same as based on the demand it has generated a planned orders. Now if you see refresh it will generate all 2000 quantities so here see so if you calculate this fund is generated because in the world there is a demand is there so clubbing together it has generated 26,000 so after generating because here the demand is only for only for 25,065 so remaining stock on hand is 935 is left after generating 26,000 so this 935 will cover this this demand so there is no order here after covering this demand this forecast sorry this demand still 452 quantities left over 
which you will have stock on hand still this much of quantity so then it will check in the next day demand next day demand is 484 but here only we have 452 some around deficit of 32 quantity for that 32 it will generate again a 2000 quantity because we have set a fixed lot size of 2000 mm-hmm. so whatever the demand it will try to generate a 2000 quantity minimum okay like that yeah so here again in the next two, one once it is generated 2000 then here for 32 quantity remaining 1968 quantities is in stock on hand so that will cover next to the demands but here it has generated here still you have because this is a holiday saturday is a holiday as per this calendar so it has generated here itself for this demand also so because if you if you left uh, uh, from this 2498 is oh If you did that, then then around some seventeen thousand will be there, some sixteen thousand something. Then that will not cover here. So for that quantity again, four thousand quantity. For it is if you double click on this four thousand quantity, there are two orders because the fixed lot size is there. Every time it will generate two thousand quantity only. So if it is more than two thousand is required, then it will generate two thousand two orders. So here, if you see, six thousand generated. Because for the first four thousand, two orders are there. For the next two hundred quantity, again, two thousand quantity extra generated. So if you double click on this one, then there will be a three e orders. So, so why, uh, uh, in what business scenario, we'll maintain a fixed lot size? Sometimes in the production. For every resource, you can you can produce minimum two thousand quantity. Mm-hmm. You cannot go with the less than two thousand, or you cannot go more than two thousand, because the capacity of the resource will be two thousand quantity, and you cannot go with less, because if you go if you go producing less than two thousand, it will be a you cannot use resources fully. So to make sure utilization of the resource full extension, there is. Set a fixed lots of 2,000 quantity. Even then, they are okay to keep as a stock on hand if any uh, uh, extra stock left over. Like here, some some 1,600. So that 1,600 will cover for the next demands. After the demands over, then it will generate a new orders. Okay, are you getting here, Sam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and a few more settings. Safety stock. We can maintain a safety stock also. There are a uh, few or these many safety stocks you can maintain, but in general, we'll go with either SB or SZ mostly. So if it is SB. Uh, SB means see here safety stock from location product master. Okay. Means what you maintain in the location product master that will consider as a safety stock. So if I maintain SB, then here I have to maintain safety stock. Five thousand if I maintain. Save it. So here there is no safety stock mentioned here. See, the safety stock is blank. Now we have maintained. So I will go back and come. We'll see now again. So now there is a safety stock. So here twenty six thousand for the initial bucket. So if we generate now, it will generate more than twenty six thousand, including safety stock. Yeah, see here. Now 
Now if we go back to the planning book, refresh here. So it has generated 32,000. Because 5,000, 6,000 earlier, now it is increased to 6,000 because of 5,000 itself is a safety stock. To cover the safety stock, it has generated 32,000. So whenever it is generated, you have to calculate first it is stock on hand is 6,935 is there. But that is not required because you have to deduct this from the safety stock. Then remaining is only 1,935 that you have to cover for this demand. Because first it will it will cover the safety stock, then this demand. Mm -hmm. So wherever you see any requirement here you have to see if you see here 5200 is there but again why if you think why it has generated 2000 quantity this 5200 can cover this 4000 also mm -hmm. if you think mm -hmm. first you have to deduct this 5200 for for the safety stock so in the 5200 5000 is deducted then only 200 will be there that will not cover 400 quantity so it has generated another new order That you would see. Okay. So if I uh, go with another safety stock combination, that we will see at a ship to body location. Here. Now, if you maintain instead of SB, if you maintain SZ, SZ means safety day supply from location product master. Day supply. Safety day supply. Here, directly safety stock from the location master. Here, safety day supply means you have to maintain a days. So based on the dates it will consider. Here whatever you will, it will not consider now. It will consider from the days only. Where you will maintain the days is in the next step, quality and date determination. Here you need to maintain safety days supply. Here if I maintain five days. Five days I have maintained. Now we'll go back to here. I'll go back and come inside here. So safety stock, if you see, how much is 2,419? So why? So if you see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 days of demand it will calculate. 2, 4, 20 almost same. So that it will show. So from the current day onwards it will calculate for the next 5 days of demand. That will show as a safety stock. So it will calculate for every bucket it will calculate next five days as a, as a safety stock. So it will not calculate any safety stock from the location master. It will calculate the days what we have maintained. So from the days it will calculate okay. The next five days what is the total demand what you have the same that is calculated as a safety stock. So including this now it will generate a new orders. Distribution received. Okay. Ten. Okay, here the 12,097 now, including the some 16,000 it will generate here. If we go back to heuristic. Now, 
ریفریش یار سو ایٹ ایز جنریٹڈ سم 15400 so 12,000 plus how it has generated 16,000 here is this demand together how much till here total so 13,065 plus 2,419 total together it has generated 15,400 that includes safety stock so wherever you just consider here uh, like example here if you are considering a, how, how the plan data is generated so first you have to remove the safety stock uh, the, the whatever you have here from this whatever the stock you have first you have to deduct the from the safety stock then remaining is zero that's why that zero will not cover 400 though it has generated it orders So mainly these two will be considered for the safety stock. There are few other settings also that you can explore later. And uh, yeah, here minimum lot size, maximum lot size also you can consider. If it is here, like example. fix a lot for lot also in that lot for lot also lot for lot previously it was generating whatever the demand you have that much is generating here whatever the demand you have the same quantity is generating if i maintain for the cost yeah i will go with this one only if you maintain lot for lot again but there is a rounding logic the next up rounding rounding value if i maintain rounding value as 1000 means if it is below the 1000 then or, or whatever the quantity it will round to multiple of 1000 quantity here now if you observe Only 400. What are the 400 means? 400 is generated. Now it will not generate 400. It will round up to 1,000 quantity. Here also 15,400 is there. So it, in that case, it will round to next 1,000 quantity. That is 16,000. So entire 16,000 will be one order. So go back to the heuristic, and if I generate now. refresh here 16000 quantity here yes, 16000 so every order to generate 1000 minimum so what is the difference between fixed lot size and rounding logic is if it is a fixed lot size then it will generate multiple orders hmm. but here it is only one order is generated it is just rounding to the next 1000 quantity so here also some 2452 minus 2252 means 200 something will be left over so 484 will not sufficient only 200 something is needed still it has generated 1000 because of the rounding logic so like that everywhere it will generate like that it will round to the next 1000 quantity you can choose a minimum lot size maximum lot size also minimum this much of quantity like that you can choose and maximum that you do if you maintain a minimum lot size and maximum you may you not to maintain a rounding logic only just maintain minimum and maximum lot size could you set uh, a minimum uh, lot size for uh, How can I say it? One thousand. Yeah. And and, and three thousand for maximum lot and remove rounding value, please. 
Could yeah, you do let's that? see. Three thousand. Okay. We'll generate a heuristic again. See here, every time it has generated as 3000, that is the maximum lot size. Yeah. It cannot go beyond that. Uh, because uh, we didn't change the demand. So in order to see uh, yeah. uh, what is the amount for the remaining, um, it's okay anyway. It, it, it looks, uh, looks it works similar than ERP for the MDC4. It is fine. Yeah, yeah, it looks same, same. It will work same as a MD04 because this is the same. Uh, the heuristic itself developed as a M MRP4. Right. Sorry, uh, the MRP run. What you do in in ECC, the same here, yeah. but with additional features they have given. Because basically, is uh, depends on the. Uh, which factors or uh, uh, key figures we maintain in the problem master, same in uh, material master and in, in ECC, and then right. we reflect the, uh, the basically the heuristic works like uh, MRP here. Okay, but I think it's more complex. But uh, this, I don't know, recognize yeah, the heuristics. Okay, you give some additional features along with that one. Okay. Okay. And one more feature here. So now, if you see from the day one onwards, it is generating. But sometimes, practically, the day one, uh, if you want to uh, produce this quantity, it is may not be possible. This is today itself, so they may not be able to produce this one. So sometimes they can maintain a, a lock period. So in that period, no orders will generate. Where you will maintain that period is, I'll go for 1000 location. In the SNP2, there is a production horizon, SNP production horizon, and stock transfer horizon. If I maintain here as a 8 days. So this is this is a procurement type E. So it will always generate a production planned order. So this is setting is required. If it is a ship to party location, that will generate a purchase requisitions means stock transfers. Then that time you can maintain stock transfer horizon here. So what see what will happen here if I maintain eight? I'll go back from the planning book and come in again. So this eight period it is showing as a crumb color means it is a production order eight days means this is a lock period no orders will generate in this in these days so if I generate now new heuristic no orders will generate entire demand together all together will generate after this horizon only let's generate a heuristic again. Now if I refresh, sorry, it should not generate here, let's see what it does, maybe I have not, have not chosen here, thousand. Refresh again. So yeah. after this, 
horizontal channel so in this one there is no auto scale generate we can keep it as a buffer days so that planners will get time to understand what are the orders are going to come and they can plan accordingly This is depends on you can maintain from product to product. Some products they will maintain few days, some products they will not maintain at all, and some products they maintain 30 days also. Depends on the, depends on the situation they will maintain yeah. this yeah. production horizon. Sorry. So if you want to, if you are generating a stock transfers means the purchase requisitions, then you can maintain here. SNP stock transfer for the ship to parties location you can maintain here. Then same way it will work. Okay. And if I see, let's example for if you want to delete this one. Can you, can you create a sample for it? There is a key code. Uh huh. Can you create an example for a stock transfer, please? Yeah, sure. Here, if I maintain stock transfer five days. Here, if I if I give ten days, fifteen days, let's example. For the production horizon, if I'm giving 15 days and stock transfer, I've given five days. So still, but we, we is considering only five days. But you haven't executed. Here it is considering fifteen days. But it will not generate for this year. So it will generate for this one only when you run a heuristic. So even though here maintain fifteen days, it will there is no use. You 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 run the heuristic? No no no, I have not run. Now I will run. Okay. So you refresh. There is no orders here. So after this, is only just generated. But the de demand will consider till here. All together it will mm -hmm. consider and will generate the receipts for the end the demand. But after that, horizon, what we maintain here. Then production order. So you can see here also what you have made. Okay. Finally, planner order and yep. production order, stock transfer order that are located in the same key fee or distribution receipt planet. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So if we. Now we'll see the network heuristic. Now till now we have seen the location heuristic here. Now if you see the network heuristic, okay. So before that I just want to delete both the existing orders. E E plus A G. How do I delete E? Here is there is a T code called R L C del slash and slash S A P. A P O slash R L C T E L. This record will delete the transaction data. So here choose by categories, and you can maintain a categories here. Now I want to delete categories A G and E E. 
how should I, how will I uh, know about what categories here we have to maintain? So here what, this order I want to delete these orders. So the category is EE. If I mention here as EE. And for the shift to parties, the category will be AG. AG. So both I have mentioned here and I want to delete for the product 2320. Okay. Now if I 2321 also you can choose. I'll go for this is a test mode. See here it will not delete directly now. It will show the orders before deleting. If you click on this test mode. There are 90 orders are there which can Whoa. be deleted. So these are the 90 orders. If I click on this delete, now it will delete. Do you want to delete from the live cat? Active version 300, yes. It has deleted. Now if you refresh here, you will not see any demand, any receipts. So no receipts. Here also no receipts. No demand also. Because that uh, when you deleted the orders in the ship to party location, then the demand also is gone. Means which which came as a receipts. Means means uh, when you created a receipts at ship to party location, that only will come here as a demand. So when you delete the receipts at ship to party locations, automatically here the demand also deleted. So now there is no orders, only demand is there in each location, ship to party plus supply source location, plant, production plant location. Now we will go for a product network heuristic. Okay. Here I will remove this ship to location but instead we will go for a network. Once you choose a network, this will be grayed out. Okay. Location will be grayed out. Even though you view, it will not be set That will be taking in consideration every location type. Yes. Okay. It will run for all the locations where this 2320 is connected. Okay. And will run for the dependent demand also. So these many orders stock transfer 33 generated, planned order 60 orders generated. So now if I refresh, so it has generated here, first we will see about uh, this chip to port location, it has generated here receipts, the same receipts gone to the 1000 plant location. Same receipts gone to the thousand location as a demand, and for the same demand again orders also generated. At one shot, it has generated three locations. Ship to party location, and supplying plant location. But if you see in the location here, the results it has generated for the location product master four combinations. What is the fourth combination here? Is for this. When it has generated X supplying plant, that is a production plant 1000, it has generated 42,000 here. So this has created, this demand has created a dependent demand on product 2321. So that is a demand. For this demand also, orders are generated. So including all together, it has run. You choose a network heuristic. 
but it, a system will run in a sync means it will run in a first two, two parties then so so supply and then to the demand planning uh, dependent demand it is it will run in a proper way otherwise if if the system runs at thousand plant first then it will not find any demand it will no autos will generate after that it will generate the shift to part location then demand will go to the thousand location that time if you see there will not be any sync means if you see in the thousand plant then then there will be a demand but no orders so it has to run in a, in a proper way so that the first it will run at a shift to part locations then thousand plant location then dependent demand then everything you will see the demand plus receipts so the system itself will take care of those things when you choose a network heuristic give me a second here uh, sure. So you actually okay. First, so we are we are using uh, the product twenty three twenty zero. So we have changed the the last uh, settings that have that uh, this product has. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, so the main factor series is uh, the product itself. So we change the heuristics uh, settings. Now is that work? And um, in how many plants we have this? Oh, I'm oh, sorry. How many locations we have this product? Yeah, this product is uh, linked to four combinations. Four combinations. Yeah, the four okay. Combinations. And and uh, when you uh, when execute the heuristic, what is the time frame that it takes for the uh, the the arson or forecast arson? Forecast horizon it will take for the S enter S N planning book horizon. Ah uh, yes. Okay. Just for each product, for each combination. Okay, then it takes uh from uh, 02, 09, 2014 and we have for two thousand till here. Okay, in, in this example, we have only one, uh, the starting point for the man is the customer, or um, just try to, to figure out how, how the demand starts, how, how uh, 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 the planning is done, I mean, uh, which location start the requirement, so we, we have a, a, a requirement. First. Yeah, first it will run at a shift to part location so that it will run when you when it is run at shift to part location the same receipts will go to the thousand plant location as a demand. After that the heuristic will run at thousand plant location so that it will generate a orders for the demand which is coming from the shift to parties. Okay. Okay. Well. So I can see it, but uh, I don't even know where my doubts came yeah. from. But uh, so then it has taken care of this dependent demand also. Yeah, this is for uh, for dependence and men. And yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Okay, let's continue. Okay. Maybe later I can clarify my, my yeah. doubts. Yeah, yeah, if you have any doubts, you can clarify later. So, so this is the demand and other what the settings we have here. Yeah. So 
so here one more setting here in the in the location that you same you may have in the SCC also that net net change planning when you do a net change planning it will run only for the changes done if any changes after the planning if any changes happens only for the that changes it will run okay otherwise like if you want to run to adjust the foca adjust the uh, demand and receipts only for the changes done during the day or something then you can choose a net change planning okay 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 hind here one more thing in the in the network heuristic uh, this depends on the project to project they will run sometimes you cannot run also because it depends on the number of combinations you have also means example you have chosen network but you have a 0.5 million combinations or a million combination then it will take huge time to complete the job so in that case you may not run a network heuristic that time what they do is first they will run at ship to body locations once the ship to body locations jobs are completed then they will run at a supplying plant location then on the dependent products like step by step they will run okay okay yeah that depends on project to project if you have a less combination then you can choose a network heuristic sorry if you have uh, yeah if you have a less combinations okay. then you can okay. choose network mm -hmm. but yeah but if you have a lot many combinations then it depends sometimes it will take huge huge time and it will not complete mm -hmm. also yeah yeah that time. that depends on the project to project which is okay and the next is yeah capacity leveling capacity leveling is okay, sorry yeah capacity leveling next is capacity leveling that we can discuss tomorrow yeah, yeah. okay because you will be uh, confused if i if i to uh, tell you more topics at one day itself yes so we tomorrow will see the no i can be more fresh uh, in my mind yeah. so so and, and uh, i'm recording the video and for me is uh taking apart every concept by itself in a separate video yeah for me is that better in order uh like um, you say yeah. so too much concepts in one in one day because <laughs> made me confused Right. So that's why right. we'll see to capacity leveling tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Capacity leveling means how you do a leveling on the resource load. Okay. Yeah. That we'll see tomorrow at the same time. Okay. See you tomorrow, Kishori. Yeah. See you tomorrow.